Hey guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries, and today I'm really excited to be showing you how to build these super simple raised garden beds. You can grab the free plans and all the details in the link in the description below, and you can have a couple of these made in just a couple of hours. It only requires a couple of treated plumber boards and a little bit of time. So if you're ready to get your spring started and get your stuff planted, let's go. The first thing I did was cut my boards down to size. This uh, raised garden bed only uses two 2x12x12 two by 12 by 12 boards and two 2x4x12 two by by boards. The majority of these pieces will be cut to six foot long except for two small pieces that'll go on the top and I'll show you later. So what I did first was I cut my 2x12x12 two by 12 by 12 boards down to two six foot pieces each. That would give me four pieces to make the main box just like shown here. I assembled these boards to make a main box for the raised garden bed using wood glue and three inch screws. I used about four screws on each joint just trying to make sure that everything was pretty square as I screwed together but you can square it up later it's not too big of a deal. Um, these boards I mentioned are treated which makes them a little bit heavier than standard 2x12 boards. However, the treated lumber will last much, much longer outdoors in the rain and the snow and whatever else that you may face outside if they're treated. So, um, I highly recommend using treated lumber for this, even though it is quite heavy. Once I had the main box of the raised garden bed put together, I cut the smaller pieces for the small section on the top of the raised garden box um, from 2x4 boards. So I cut two 2x4s two at 6 foot long and then I cut two smaller 2x4s at only 2 foot long um, to create the small box that will go on the middle of the raised garden bed. I cut these with a miter saw but you could totally use a circular saw if you wanted. Since this is just a raised garden bed, there's no need to be super um, perfect on all of your cuts. It's, it's just going to be a raised garden bed. Once I had my boards cut, I took them outside to the main box and I started assembling this smaller box on top. I just screwed the boards together using 3 inch wood screws, just like you see here with the 2 foot boards going in between the 6 foot boards. We'll center this up later. Right now I'm just assembling the, the box. This box is optional, but it's kind of neat to have your raised garden bed kind of separated into three different sections, and that's why I did it. So if you don't want to add this part, you don't have to. I think it adds to the look and kind of the function as well, but it's totally optional. Once the small box for the top was assembled, I centered it onto the raised garden bed and then just toenailed the, well, I call it toenail, but I, I guess I toe screwed the top section to the main box, just like shown here using three inch wood screws. Um, I just screwed them in at an angle. You could drill pocket holes and use pocket hole screws if you wanted, just be sure to use uh, exterior, like weather resistant pocket hole screws if you decide to go that direction. The last thing I did was cut another six foot two by four, just to run across the middle section uh, just like shown here. The only reason I did this was just to help prevent the boards from bowing. I don't know that they would have bowed once I got them full of soil, but this is just to make sure that they don't. Um, once that board was in place, I screwed it in using three inch wood screws by the way. And once it was in place, you can fill it with dirt, plant your stuff, and you're ready to go. So if you want a super simple project to get you ready for spring and to get you uh, out of that winter funk, be sure to check out the link in the description below for the full details and all the cut lists and everything. And be sure to check out my other do-it-yourself videos and subscribe to this channel.